It turns out there's so much information in there, there's a gold mine of data, but it's almost impossible to get out in some, from some of the formats that it's stored in. So as you can imagine, this place started in 1966, and so oldest records are just in handwritten paper format. There's things that are in really um, difficult databases that store the data securely, but basically you can't get it back out to analyze it. And so now, the project we're working on is to basically take all those different source files and bring them together in a way that we can systematically and um, consistently reproduce a data set containing all the information that we might need. This is the first step is just to release the data, make sure it's clean, make sure that it's well documented, that um, we know exactly how everything was generated and how all the calculations were made, and to release that to the public so that scientists who will find any of it useful for their own research in smaller or broader projects um, can use it. Other animal care facilities can use it if they maybe do not have so much information about um, a particular species that they house. Um, and anyone else, students and educators are also free to use it. So these species are endangered in the wild and there are a lot of regulations um, because of that making it impossible to bring them out of Madagascar. And so basically what that means is that a colony like this would be impossible to recreate. And that of course in turn means that the data themselves would be impossible to recreate. We get new data every day. The data just keeps rolling in. This database will continue to grow.